Hello guys, welcome to Eloconics. If you are IoT enthusiast guy, then you must be thinking about to develop your own web app to control the appliances as well as to read the temperature and humidity or any other sensors value in your own web app or app. So in this video, I am going to cover how to send data to a cloud and fetch the data to your own web app. You can say this is complete IoT tutorial. To send data in Firebase, you have to make account in Firebase so that you have to search Firebase in your Google and click on the first link. Now click on get started button and your Firebase console is open now. Click on add project, give a name to your project, here it is asking for project name. So I will use Alconics project, click on continue. It is asking for Google Analytics. I don't require it, so I turn it off. It will take few seconds. Now our project is created. Click on Continue. And you are redirect to Alconics project. Click on Setting. Then Project Setting. Here nothing is showing. No API key. Click on Firebase. Go to Alconics project or the project you have made recently. Go to authentication, so now you have to click on get started and authenticate you or your ESP32 so that ESP32 can also access to your firebase as a user. So I will choose email and password. Click on enable button and click on save. Now authentication has done. You have to add user. Click on add user. Give any email id. Make sure this is not your google password. You can set any random password. Click on setting, then project setting. Now here it is the main thing, it is your API key. Copy it and paste it in your notepad because we will require it later. Type API key and save this link. Click on home. Now click at the bottom right arrow key then click on build or drop down build button go to real time database we have to create real time database so click on create database choose a server which is more closer to your location I will choose Singapore because my location is in India and Singapore is more closer to India. Click on next. Here we will prefer test mode. So click on start in test mode. Enable it. Your real time database has created. Copy this URL you will require in your code and save it. So two things we required API key and URL. Now let's move to our coding section and we'll send data to our Firebase. So first you have to install this Firebase library. For that you have to go to sketch, then include library and then manage library. Search Firebase ESP32 and hit enter. So you have to install this library, Firebase Arduino client library for ESP32 and ESP8266. Make sure you install this library as I have already installed it. For now, I will do update, but updating will take time. So this has updated. For your case, you have to install it and close it. 
and here you have to paste your url and url we have already got from our firebase account copy this url and replace it here so here you will see alconics project this was our project name we have to also replace our api key copy this and paste it here so this part are the definition of our api key url and ssid and password then in void loop part this is the important part what we are doing we are putting random value from 0 to 1023 and we are storing this value here in s data and here json dot set by this command first we'll set the path where we want to send the data and the value so this is the path or you can say this is a key and this is the value again this is one another key and this is a value then we are updating in node so our node is sensor so inside sensor it will create key and then one value associated with this key thereafter one key one value one key one value now upload this code and let's see in our firebase now our code is uploading wait for a few seconds now our code has uploaded now it is showing dot 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 it means it has not got the wi-fi connection now let's see the data over the cloud firebase now there is sensor is one node and inside node there is three keys first key is farm volume second key is lora third key is lset wall so in this three key we are sending the same data that is random value so in this way we are successfully able to send the data to our cloud which is firebase now in next part we'll see how to fetch this data and we'll make our own web app thanks for watching this video